Hello, we will be setting up a configuration for the Autometer Drag Logger. The first thing you need to do is you need to select the type of system that you have. Whether it be a Bracket, Pro, Sportsman, today we will set it up for the Race Dash. So you want to pick the system that you have. Now if you have a module such as an expansion module, this is where you would add that and we will go ahead and add the 10 channel expansion module. You click OK. This shows you what type of system you have and if you have any modules on it. Then you come down and hit the continue button. At the bottom here, this is the channels that are on your expansion module, which are PA11 through A20. And then what we'll concentrate on is setting the dash up, which is your 9601, 9602, and 9603. The designations on the channels the PA means they will take either pulse or analog. The PA is available on 1 through 4, where the dedicated analog channels are available on 5 through 9. On all systems, there is a filter bit built in on PA1 for the engine speed. You want to make sure that you use the drop-down box and use the ESPD. If you name it anything else and you're using a dash, the TAC will not operate correctly. Along the top here are the different types of sensors that are available. You can use the left or right arrows here to access more of the sensors. The engine RPM is available under direct. What you want to use is you want to use the 008032K RPM 4 stroke. All you do is left click on this, hold your left mouse button down, and drag it over. Hit the advance button to make sure that the cylinder selection is correct. We'll use PA2 as our trans RPM, known, also known as drive shaft. However, you want to keep the trans RPM as all of the math channels that are in this unit are based off of trans RPM. For that, you want to use the 0 to 12, 0 to 32K shaft RPM. Drop and drag that in, hit the advance button, all of our collars come standard with four magnets in them. If you're using somebody else's collar, please note the magnets or pick up on the, the unit you are using and put that in as the pulse count. Ours is four, so we'll update that to four. We'll use PA3 as our oil pressure. We'll use the arrow over button on the top to go to pressure select our 0 to 100 PSI and drop and drag it. Also while you are in the screen, make sure that you come down to the bottom on the dashes and tick each one of these buttons at the bottom. This will actually turn the G meters on inside of the unit. We want to make sure we have that as this will zero your software when it leaves over 1G. The alarms on the left hand side here, if you click on this tab, will allow you to add alarms to your dash. If you hit add, you'll be able to go in and pick up whatever channel name you want. We'll choose oil pressure this time. We want to see an alarm come on the dash that is below 20 PSI. So we use the below, put the unit number in here that we want, and then we come down here and tick on the action. This will allow you to set up an external shift light, allow you to do several things. Here we want the internal lamp on. Click on that, hit OK. Next what we'll add is we'll add an automatic start configuration for the unit to start recording. Pick our channel name, which we'll use engine on this one, above, and we'll say 4000 RPM. We come down here and tick our action, and we want to start the log. You can also stop a log this way uh, using the below feature. Now let's say we don't want to see the oil pressure under 20 PSI all the time. We can add a gate. What a gate does is will allow you to only have that message come on above a certain parameter. So we can use engine speed and we want to have it above, we'll say 500 RPM. So we can come in here and edit our oil pressure. We can tick on the gate above 500 RPM and hit OK. Now this is telling us that 
when the oil channel, when channel oil pressure one goes above 20 psi and engine speed goes above 500 rpm, the internal lamp will illuminate. The recorder itself will, uh, this will allow you to set the sample rate on each individual channel. All you do is double click on each individual one and this will allow you to set what sample rate. Most people in, will sample everything at a minimum of 100 samples per second, but that is completely up to you. Under recorder memory, each one of the drag loggers has two megabytes. So you want to set that for two. This will give you your time that is available. And as you can see, the higher the sample rate, the less time you have. Now if some of the stuff isn't very important to you, sample it as a, at a lesser rate. If some of the stuff is very important to you, sample it at a higher rate. You can also take off channels that you don't want to sample over here. The last tab on here is your display. This will allow you to go in and put whatever display you want on the dash. You can add, double click on the channel name, that will bring up the channel. If you double click in the label, it will allow you to label it however you want to. And all you do, to do is hit OK. If you would like to add another one, just go in and it will add it again. If you need to change anything, just highlight it and hit the Edit button. When you're finished with all of these parameters, connect the unit to the vehicle with power on to the dash or the unit and hit your Upload button. This will upload your new configuration to your dash or new unit. Also, what you want to do at the end is you want to come over here and make sure you save the unit excuse me, save the configuration. This will allow you to go back and look at the configuration when needed. All you hit is the, the left key, type in your file name, and hit save. You're all set, uh, and we'll move on to another feature.